guys, Lydia Indigo here with Angel today for our interview. Hi. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. Um, what is your current spiritual path? Currently I'm into energy wicca and working with a lot of stones. Any stones in particular? Mm. Recently, due to needing much more grounding than I've had, it's been red jasper, onyx, and some amethyst just for a little bit of getting rid of the negativity. Oh yeah, amethyst is a good uh, transmuting crystal from negative energy to positive energy, so keep that in mind guys. Citrine also helps with that and it's supposed to be a bringer of prosperity and happiness. Just having it in your home does wonders. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, how did you get to this point in your spiritual path? It took a lot of trying to figure out how to deal with my depression, for one. It, it was a rough path. <laughs> Granted, no path is ever easy, really. Mm. Unless, of course, you're falling down a cliff. And the free fall, it's the landing that kills you. In this case, these lovely crystals came up and it was just like, Oh, hey, this helps. Let's keep doing this. <laughs> Um, did anybody uh, help nudge you into that path? or? Do you it wasn't so much know? anyone nudging me. It was more, I found this, started researching, I got more in tune with my spiritual self, and it just kind of drug me here. It's almost like, you know, you have some, like this thing, like pushing you towards this, go, do it, and if, if you resist, it just makes things harder. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like, Destiny's just like, hey, do the thing, and you're like, uh, and then Destiny's like, hey, still, do the thing, and you're like, fine, I'll do the thing, and you do the thing, and then things are cool. Yeah. Um, any advice for those following the same path of energy with them? Like, those who are getting into it? Be very, very cautious. Use protection, and I'm not talking... Yes, I know there are some of you perverts out there. I'm not talking that kind. <laughs> I'm talking use crystal protection. Do not just throw your energy out there. You don't know who you're going to meet. Oh, yeah. Because you could find someone who's just like, oh, that's some nice energy you've got there, and suck it all out of you. It's not something you really want. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, would that be considered shielding to make sure you don't yes. like throw out too much? Yes. Oftentimes, whenever I'm having issues, I will warn those around me, hey, I'm letting off some energy, you may feel a little bit of cold. I let it out, make sure it goes into the ground and not them. Oh. And we're good. Um, how do you, uh, like, put energy into the ground? Like, how would you say you do it? I focus, okay, imagine, the big picture, okay? Okay. Imagine the outline of your body. This energy is flowing all through you. Mm -hmm. You can see that if you're talented enough or, you ha or you've practiced enough. And you can actually see the flow and force it to go through your feet into the floor. Oh, so it's a visualization thing? Yes. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah, I had somebody ask me about that a couple days ago because she had trouble with, like, stuff. And it's also, like, because I have anxiety from hell. And being in large crowds is, well, hell. <laughs> So I put this white light shield around myself so that I don't feel their energies because I'm very much energy aware and that's a blessing and a curse. It's like you could feel the energy from a light bulb, but you can also feel the super angry energy of some guy who just had an argument with his wife 10 minutes ago. Oh, so like you're basically like a receptor that picks up a lot of stuff. Yeah, and it can get overwhelming, which is why I say protect yourself. Mm. White. The color means purity, it means protection, it is godliness. If you surround that from your, with yourself from your heart chakra, that is where it originates. Your heart chakra, in my opinion, is the manifester of all of these energies. If you're angry, if you're feeling angry, the heart chakra is, you know, pretty much, you know, letting off this energy, almost warning people who are more aware, hey, watch your words, don't, don't be stupid. <laughs> Um, so, one day, um, I took one of my crystals, um, clear quartz, and then I also have another clear quartz cluster. Um, I let Angel hold on to it, and then we meditated together, and we saw some pretty cool stuff. 
Yeah, we actually saw what was that? This person with a deer head and a woman beside him. Oh yeah, the stag guy. Yeah, because we were actually talking about how my pentacle, the clasp, moves down the left side of my neck. And it hadn't started doing that until recently, and we ended up going into this weird... First we saw that, because we were... Fo I had crystals, she had crystals, and we we connect very easily. Mm -hmm. And because it was... Wasn't it before the moon turned red? Oh, yeah, that was before the lunar eclipse. That was this year, so... The veils were thin, and it was just, oh, here we are in astral, proje oh, astral projection land. Yeah, like, it was really easy to get into that, but, like, whenever you're astral projecting, uh, astral projecting, um, you want to also be, like, aware of everything around you, like, um, checking all your bases and stuff. Yes. Because there's also a lot of energy beings and things that are on other planes that would also be, like, the, the same way that Angel just explained, there might be a person who's like, ooh, energy, I want to mess with this person. Yeah. You might get stuff like that, so you got to be very careful when you're doing actual projecting. Yes, I've even had to drag something from one of my friends that was just toying with his heart chakra, drag it into my headspace and kill it. <laughs> yeah, so you get crazy stuff like that, but you got to be really careful and know what you're doing. So always research at least double than what you're going to do in the, out in the field. Oh, yes, definitely. And when and if you go in the astral projection plane and you're starting to fly, don't fly up like she did. Oh, yeah. I just went up like Superman and I forgot that there was, like, the physics of air. So I was, like, really short of breath in the physical. So I, like, went straight down. <coughs> Sorry, just thinking about it made me gag a little. Whereas I was flying circles around her because I, I watch a lot of these documentaries on birds and stuff. <laughs> so you already like knew the mechanics of air and stuff and, and flight yeah and I just like up oh, uh, down <laughs> yeah and when you're in your own headspace mine it pretty much think turtle it's like a moving island it's kind of fun oh yeah <laughs> headspaces um that's like your home base whenever you're astral project projecting it's like the space within your mind or in your soul that is like your personal space. Everyone's, I think, is pretty much different. So yeah. it's like your own room, but it's like on the astral plane. It's terribly fun just flying up and perching on whatever, you know. Oh yeah. It's amusing. <laughs> <laughs> so you got any questions for me, Angel? Uh, not particularly. Not today, at least. Oh, okay. <sighs> uh. I'm connecting with my crystal just randomly. <laughs> You're good. Even just touching crystals sometimes. Oh yeah, that big help. Especially if it's like if you're a really um, touchy person and you have something that's like a little rough, has some texture to it, it feels amazing. Especially since like every crystal has its own um, metaphysical property, and with that property, um, they emit like a certain attribute. Even certain gemstone rings, like my ruby here. It's, a lot of it is letting out, you know, passionate feelings and getting them to where they're positive, you know. It's also why the royals back then used them for, oh, I'm having trouble with my menstruation. The alchemist just like, here, this might help, and well, now it's associated with the royal stone because it took a lot of money to be able to get a hold of one of them things. True. <laughs> so, yeah. Um... I'm Lady Indigo, and this is Angel, and we'll be catching you later. Yep, peace.